Hi, my name is Michael. In this video, I'll show you how to use the iOS app icon template for Sketch that you can get from applypixels.com. This is a template that enables you to generate all of the many icon sizes needed on iOS from a single size. It features the proper squircle shape, the official icon grid, and common iOS gradients as shared styles. It allows you to preview your icon in native environments like the home screen and on the App Store, and when you're done, you can export every single size and preview with a single action. In short, this is the master tool when you're creating app icons using Sketch. What you need is this folder downloaded from applypixels.com and a copy of Sketch version 3 or later. Let me give you a quick rundown of how this thing works. We'll open up the folder, and inside the folder you'll find a sketch file and a couple of subfolders. Let's not worry about those for now. Let's go right ahead and open up the sketch file. It looks something like this. The first thing you should notice is that this template comes with three pages, a preview page, an export page, and a symbols page. I'll walk you through each of them. As you can tell, right now we're on the preview page, which is where you, not surprisingly, preview your icon. Here we've got the main star of the show, the icon with the squircle mask applied. We've got a home screen environment where you can compare your icon with other stock icons that come on the platform. And we've got an app store preview so you can get an idea of what your icon looks like when people first meet it on the store. Now let's make an icon. To get started, you simply double click the icon. Now that takes us to the symbols page, which allows us to change the master symbol for the icon, which will then propagate to all of the other sizes. This is essentially where you'll build your icon. Inside this symbol, there's a couple of neat little tools that I wanna show you before we create our masterpiece. Out here on the left-hand side, you'll find a folder called guides. Inside the guides folder, you've got the icon grid that you can turn on and off. You've also got an outer mask, which gives you an idea of the rounding that Apple will apply. Remember to hide this mask before you export. And there's also an inner mask. In the next folder, you'll find beta and alpha batches, which is cool for those test flight builds. And finally, we have the background itself. Let me show you a cool little thing regarding this background. Out here on the right hand side, you'll find the shared styles. And if I click that, you'll actually get access to most of the common gradients used on iOS. This is pretty cool if you want a starting point that is not too foreign on the platform. So you can pretty quickly find something that you like and then you can build and tweak from there. Super neat. Okay, let's go ahead and create a quick icon. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and hide good old Glyphy here. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new Glyph. Now, obviously you could paste whatever you wanted in here, uh, but for illustrational purposes, we're just gonna create something really simple. How about a nice star? There we go. Then I'm going to hide the grid. And let's choose another background too. Go to our share styles. And uh, I think this needs like a, an orange look, right? And if you've been paying attention, you've noticed that the app icon out here in the preview symbol is actually already changing. Let's just return to the instance we came from, which was the preview page. And here you can see that our icon is already updated and is showing in the previews. That is pretty cool. And you can obviously go back and forth here between the previews and the symbols until you are happy with your icon. Once you are, you can also check out the many different exports under the export page. This features the many different slices that Sketch will export. Now, once your masterpiece is complete, all you need to do is go to file and hit export. And here you see a breakdown of all the different files that Sketch will export. You're gonna go ahead and click export. Now you can save these files anywhere you want, but this template has one last trick up its sleeve that I wanna show you. If you choose to save the files in the folder that the template came in, the iOS app icon template folder, something neat happens. I'm just gonna click export. It's gonna ask if we wanna override the existing files and we're gonna just say, yes, we would like to override those files. And if we're gonna look at that folder, we can now look at these subfolders that I told you to disregard before. There's the previews exported, looking mighty fine. There's rounded cornered versions of your app icon, which is neat for presentational purposes, but don't bundle these with your app as Apple doesn't allow transparency. And most importantly, obviously, there's the artwork for iTunes and the many different sizes that you need to bundle with your app. And here's that last trick I talked about and why you needed to export into this folder. There's also a contents.json. If you're not a developer, you don't have to worry about this, but if you are a developer, you know that with this file, you can now just drop the entire folder into Xcode and everything should be set up properly. That is really neat. 
And that's a quick overview of how you use the iOS app icon template for Sketch. Now you can get this resource and other cool design resources by becoming a subscribing member at applypixels.com. I really hope this template helps you create better icons. Thanks for watching.